attention, please! The Samshine Fashion House presents to you... The Happily Ever After 2022 Collection! Woohoo! Huh! Mermaids are into high fashion, too! I'm waiting for my Prince Charming! Cool! And now it's time for Fabulous Cruella! All of the princesses have their awesome dresses! Thanks, everyone! I'm so grateful! Sammy, wait! Bell's a bit late for the show! Oh, right. I totally forgot about her! Ha! Huh, I will make a dress for Belle right in front of you! But we're out of fabric, Sammy! Wait! My magic will summon a new material! Drop the curtain! Play-Doh? What is it for? Sammy, your magic didn't work right! No, Susie! I promised Belle a unique material for the dress! Then I'll squish it! Where is the princess? She was right next to me! A clay dress? Ew! I want to be star of the night, not a life sculpture! <gasps> Seems like someone cast a spell on Belle! She became so grumpy! We'll show her the dress and it'll break the evil spell! Okay, then you roll out the clay and I'll take Belle's measurements! Got it! Guys, did you notice that the dress will be pink? <laughs> it's so like Sammy, right? Let's see how he's doing! No way! I don't want to be stuck with a moody princess! Uh, let go of me! Belle wants to see the first samples. Let's speed up. Wait, size? Hey, stop fidgeting! I'm working here! Ugh, but Sue's doing something interesting back there. Really? Let's see it! We're lucky that I've taken all of the measurements. Okay, we need a clay piece of this size for the top of the dress. Let's do it. Sounds like we're working with real fabric. Here it is! What do you think, Belle? Do you like it? No! <sighs> okay, what's next, Mr. Designer? Let's make as many tiny folds as we can! One fold to this side, one to another. Wow, it looks really beautiful! Sammy, get our model ready! I'll finish pretty soon! Come on, Belle, you like it? Let's take a bet! Look! Guys, it shouldn't take long and you'll get a top piece. Make sure you've made two of them. Here is our model! I had to buy her with new books. <laughs> Great! Let's put the top on! Belle, stay still! One clay piece goes to the front, and the other to the back side! So far it looks like a swimsuit! Belle isn't happy at all! Oh, you've brought the skirt! Hmm, looks pretty modern! Don't worry, Belle! It's just a base to make a full skirt! <laughs> I was just kidding! We won't leave it like this! Sue, let me roll up a piece for the skirt! Sure! Belle is ready for a modern fashion show! I'm on it, Sue! I can't do this any longer! Help me out, please! This is a nice piece of clay, but we need to finish the edges. We need six of these pieces. What? Help! I've broken up the base! Let's start making the skirt. The ball is coming soon. Always iron the fabric beforehand. Who said the creases are ugly? In Samshine, they're all the prettiest! Oh, that's for sure. Okay, I'm ready to follow your instructions. Start with tiny creases on the hem of the skirt. Roll the stick over the edge. It's working pretty well. What does our bell think? Holy cannoli! She's smiling more sincerely than before! Keep going, Sue! Looks like the grumpy spell is fading away. Just one more time, the hem is finished. Can I iron it just a bit? No way! We need more folds on the skirt! Get to the middle now! <sighs> okay, no ironing today. Let's add some volume to the skirt. Sammy, how many creases do you want? <laughs> really? <laughs> what did he say? Uh-huh. I guess I should do it myself. Let's make one diagonal crease. Don't ruin it! It was a serious discussion with the customer. <laughs> and? How many folds does she want? Hmm? Hmm. The more the better. These are her exact words. Challenge accepted. Guys, it's gonna be like a workout for your fingers. Even I couldn't make that better! Let's repeat all of the steps and make five more pieces! Whoosh! And here's what we've got! Hey, where's the last one? Susie, it's Sabotage! The last piece is ruined! Hail, Tibidaba, we can reshape it again! Oop! Oop! I'm sensing evil magic here! Show up, witch! Shiver me, Chatter! Who's laughing? Ooh, that really sounded like an evil witch's laugh! We have big problems! You don't sound scared at all, Susie! Shame on you! Don't worry, anyway! I'll protect you and the dress! Here's the last crease! 
And done! Now all of the pizzas are ready. Let's layer them up. We'll attach them one by one, turning the stand when needed. There we go. Just imagine how the lush skirt will swirl on the dance floor. Actually, we can see it right now. Come on, Belle, dance for us. Sammy, what do you think? We need more layers on that skirt, and I found something useful. It totally slaps. Guys, do you see? You don't need that much to make an amazing dress. Let's cover the clay skirt with pieces of white and pink net fabric. And what would Belle's dress be without roses, right? Stay tuned! This is it. Now the skirt has even more texture. Oh, it's really stunning. Guys, give a thumbs up. Let's add some glamour. Our fashion house is called Samshine for a reason. Check out this beautiful sparkling belt. It highlights Belle's figure. I remember that the designer promised us the decor with roses. That's right. So go ahead and dig out some flowers from the neighbor's garden. First, this is not a shovel. Second, I think that might be stealing. <laughs> I got you, Susie. You're so easy to prank. Take the delivery. What delivery? Ah, oh, got it. What a vibrant pink color. It's Sam Shine brand color. The pinker, the better. I got the assignment. We'll grow roses out of this piece of craft paper. Yep. First, take the piece that will help us grow petals ten times faster. Wow, that sounds like a great crafting tip. Guys, watch carefully. Then cut out the shape of a petal using scissors. Easy peasy. Just don't forget to fold the paper several times. It really is easy. Check this out. We're making multiple petals with one cut. Be careful with the scissors, guys. We've made enough to create at least one flower. Let's get started. Add some volume to the petal. Wrinkle the edges a bit. Guys, be careful. The petals are very fragile. Be gentle with them. You don't have to make them perfect. The petals do have various shapes. Let's gather them in a rosebud. Layer the petals together one by one, just like this. Tale is old as time, tune is old as song. Oh, no, I forgot the lyrics. Hey, Belle. Come on, Belle, don't be so grumpy. What else can I do? Wait for a second. I'm almost finished with the first rose. Here, this must help. Belle is a fan of roses. Just what I need. Thanks, Susie. Let's attach it to the hem. Oh, I remembered. Tale is old as time, song is old as mine. Giddy and the beast. Rose shower. Who wants to decorate the dress? Sounds like a job for me. Can I use a bit of magic? One, two, and three. Wow, this is amazing. Oh, no. This shouldn't have happened. Hmm, maybe the spell was too strong, but we can use these anyway. Help me, Susan. First the evil witch, now that. Please save Samshine. <laughs> okay, I'll be your fairy godmother this time. Let's add some petals to the hem of the dress right in between the rosebuds. After that, let's decorate the waist. Belle, hands up! Such a cool design! Guys, what do you think? It's a new hit! Sue, we need a bit of sparkle! You're a genius, Sammy, as always! I know! Let's add some glitter to our dress. Now our Belle is defo ready for the runway! Thank you very much, Belle. 
Guys, if you want to see more dresses from the Samshine collection, then stay tuned. Please subscribe to our channel and you'll get the updates about our new doll craft. Bye-bye! Come and check this out! Only today we present to you some unique rings! Don't miss your chance! Madam! Oh, mademoiselle! Please have a look! Oh, come on! Huh? Check them out! Hmm, okay. Today's a great day to buy some new jewelry. Hmm. And you found the best place for it! I've got everything you need! Just have a closer look! Really? Let's see… Oh, what a choice! So many things! Look at this ring! It's just perfect! Which one? This? Yep! Oh, beautiful! And it perfectly matches your look! Wow, you're right! But what should I do with the others? Try this one as well! And that one! And those three! And don't forget about the others! Oh, these rings are amazing! And they look awesome together! That's right! Guys, do you want to make some rings for yourselves? It's easy! Just follow us! Hi, guys! Today we'll create some rings! I really love jewelry! Do you? So what are you waiting for? Here's everything you need! I don't know what to start with! Do you have any ideas? Hmm, I like pandas! They're so cute! I'll show you now! <laughs> Look! Should we make a panda style ring? Oh, great idea! I love pandas too! But first, let's make the ring base! And then to decorate it, we'll transform the ring into a cute panda. Oh, then I'll be the reference. A paint. A, I mean, mold a panda. Well, then freeze. <laughs> freeze? I'm an active slime. I can't do that. Well, I'm almost done with the ring and ready to decorate it. What? You're done so fast. Want to try it on? Oh, no thanks. <laughs> I don't like to wear unfinished jewelry. It's bad taste. To make a ring look more like a real panda, let's make a cute muzzle. We're gonna make a lot of rings today. Put it here so we don't lose anything. Why, thank you. After all, we'll have to bake everything. So what are we making next? Let's make a frog ring now. It's gonna be fun. Are you a mind reader? I already prepared a green vase. <laughs> Let's get to it or it'll jump away. Our froggy needs just two big green eyes. We'll also add a smile. He's gonna be so cheerful, just like me. I can be his happy idol. Awesome. But I guess two rings are not enough, right? Of course. Do you have any ideas what we can turn this into? Hmm, what do we have here? All right, pink. I could have guessed that. I think it's a perfect base for a piggy. What do you say? I don't know. I'm cooking. Can't you see that I'm really busy? Okay, I see, but be careful not to damage anything. Okay, Sue. Here's one more ingredient huh? for you. <gasps> so it is a piggy! Do you have anything else? Yep, check this out. <gasps> Whoa, I have to study that closely. This rain looks like chocolate. Maybe I should taste it. Uh, no, no, no. Huh? But why not, Susan? Don't you know that the clay is not edible? Look, I made one more ring. That's my present to you, Sue. Aw, thank you. You're really helpful today. And I also brought a bigger play. <laughs> now, Sammy, let's make a snake. Okay, okay, but be careful. I'll hook it and get to it. Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> I know how to speed it up. We'll catch it like a fish. I've got a rod. <laughs> what do we have here? There you go. <laughs> uh, what? What is this? Susan! <laughs> I'm joking! It took me so long to make this rod! Okay. Oh, come on, Sammy. Don't be so angry. We know you're very kind. Okay, you can use my kindness. Here, I made a ring you wanted. Whoa, it's so cute. We're getting a nice set of rings for any occasion. But it's not enough. We have to make more. Guys, don't you go anywhere. Welcome back, guys. I was just thinking about St. Valentine's Day. Oh, I like Valentine's Day. I give a hundred of thumbs up to it. What are you up to, Sue? Ah, oh, what a beautiful heart. Let's see if it looks better than this one. Hey, be careful, Sam. Don't break it. I guess one thin circle won't hold this heart. Hmm, let's make it double. You don't 
don't wear rings like that too often, but this one is coming out wonderful. By the way, I've made you a Valentine's card for the last year and this year and maybe the next one too. Oh, Sam, I love it. <gasps> and you keep helping me with the rings? Two are better than one, but let's proceed. I have these colorful pieces of clay. I can make a pretty weaving from them. Oh, I want to participate in that too. But now my head is spinning. <laughs> Keep swinging. Maybe this way we'll finish much faster. I have some tricks up my sleeve. Oh, does it mean you'll prepare all the elements? Sure. I'm totally in. <laughs> Your task is to assemble them together. And we'll finally get a cool set of rings for every day. I just realized something. We're like yin and yang. A perfect balance. We match each other the best. It's like we're meant to be partners in crafts. Now that's a great thought. Let's make a ring like this, too. Sue, so, but why do you need it? Well, I'll wear it when I want to feel the inner balance. <laughs> huh, then we need something else. You have to secure it on a shackle. <laughs> Otherwise, how are you gonna wear it? On your forehead? Hmm, cool idea. I'll fix it and put it on your forehead. Oh, come on. I won't wear our rings on my forehead. Never! Oh, Back please off. try it on. Ah, <laughs> no, no. <sighs> Finally, see. oh, you're such a scaredy cat. Don't worry, the rings are not yet ready anyway. Of course they're not. We need to make more to complete hmm, the set. I have an idea. Hey, okay. simplicity is the key. I want to make a mini rainbow, like after a mini rain. Well then, what's stopping you? You can make whatever you want. Aw, thanks for the support. You're so <laughs> sweet. I hope you can add some magic to our rings. But first, let's make some more of them. Stay tuned. All right, Sue. I thought that we should probably make some special ring. Ah, uh, Sue, where are you? Hmm, maybe we should make some kind of a symbol. What do you say? I am pretty sure that I know what you're talking about. Hold on a second. Oh, I can't wait to see what's his idea. Sammy, where are you? Well, well. So impatient here. I chose several symbols. Which one do you like? Hmm, this one. Ah, great choice. Sometimes you surprise me with your speed. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> By the way, I decided to clean up and find something. What did you find? Oh, I'll show you. This, you have some of these pieces left. Oh, well, of course. That's because I wanted to make another ring. Watch this. Oh, Sue, we made so many clay rings. Maybe that's enough already. Be patient, Sammy. I just want to make a few more. More? I wonder what those are gonna be. I'm gonna scare Sue now. <laughs> It'll be so much fun. I will scare you so you do everything that I say. <laughs> oh, I can also scare you. Yeah! Oh, okay, okay, that was a joke. Let's just make a snake ring. They're so beautiful and graceful, just like me. Beauty and grace is about me. Did you forget about that? Oh, how could I, Sammy? And now it's time to bake our rings. Yep, hurry up. We spend so much time making them. Uh-uh, no rushing here. Our rings have to bake long enough to become durable. Long enough, huh? And how long is that? Oh, is it the timer? Mm, cookies. I mean rings. <laughs> we have to cool them down before you can wear them. Oh, come on. Oh, so hot. Oh, you were right. See, I told you, but our snake looks kind of pale. Hmm, let's paint it. I chose the color. Sam, can you wait a little longer? Me? Wait while you'll be painting? Never. Hmm, but actually, ha, you can do that yourself. Okay, here we go. How is it going there? It came out great. Just one touch left. And I know what it is. We have to add some liquor to our rings. All of them. It's quite tiring, though. You want to help? You have super slime speed after all. Hmm? Ah, you can do anything without me. Of course I'll help. Or it'll take you forever. Now everything's finally done. Right, Sue? Yes, it is. Awesome. We can check out our wonderful set of rings in all its glory.
precious. My treasure. Mine and only mine. Hey, Sue, you forgot something. They're mine. Oh, you want to discuss huh? it? Discuss it? I'd better show you a magic trick. A trick? <laughs> that was close. So what is it? Huh? Look closely. Bibbidi, bobbidi, boom! Huh? It's empty! Where did all my rings go? Spit it out! I've changed my mind. I won't give you anything. I'll go show them to Roger. <laughs> Did you see that? They're gone! So we can make a deal! Wait, please! Oh, needing to figure something out! They're almost here! Oh, great jars! Okay, uh, we don't need this now. Um, I can empty this jar too! Uh, let's pour this out! Oh, I think they'll be happy! Ew! What is this? Oh, it's just slime. Someone's up to something and he didn't even ask my opinion. Sammy, what was this slime doing on the floor? Whoa, there's a slime flood here. Sue, I was told by friends of my friends who were told by their friends that there's fairies in town. What does this have to do with slimes? We just need these jars. Oh, I know. We can make a whole hotel for fairies out of them. Hmm. Sammy, that's a very cool idea. Let's do it. But first, clean up. I would do anything for fairies. Hello, everyone. Sam's got a brilliant idea. We're going to make a real hotel for fairies. A fairy hotel. Oh, hi, guys. Right. These jars will form the basis. Let's glue them together. Don't forget to be careful working with the hot glue. The jars have different shapes and dimensions. This way, the hotel's going to look like one in a fairy tale. Sam, what are you doing? Phew! Cardboard pieces, of course. Yeah, Sammy can cut cardboard with his eyes closed. We'll use these parts to make the roof and the walls. Yeah, no, Sue, it doesn't look so fairy for now. Oh, Sammy, don't worry. Your fairies will definitely stay at our hotel. This is just the base. We've got a lot of work to do. Da -da, da -da -da. Oh, I got it. We're gonna cover it with cardboard and then color. No, Sammy. This craft is something between sculpture, architecture, and art. I'm telling ya, it's just the base for the fairy house. It's very important to make it stable. One thing at a time, all right? Just please don't get ahead of yourself. You captured my attention. I'm gonna cut more cardboard. It calms me. Yeah, Sammy's kind of on edge today. By the way, you can help him calm down with a thumbs up. Give one. Sam likes cutting, and I like gluing cardboard pieces together. One petal next to another, this way. I've almost finished making the roof bases for this tower. Yeah, I cut these for the towers. Look, I'm a magician. <laughs> Sammy, you're a dreamer. But these cones are perfect. Let's glue them on the towers. Our hotel's base is almost ready. Let's add some glue on the jar's cap. This way. Good. And attach the cone roof. Now we're going to do some art magic. You're beating around the bush, Sue. Not at all. What do you know about sculpture, Sammy? It's sculpted. Holy cannoli! I got it! Like sculpt! Guys, to make this craft, we'll need paper clay and these tools. Two. It's even better than I imagined! A real stone house! Exactly! Let's get started! Take some clay... Alright... And apply it carefully on the roof. This way. Sue, so, I've got a question. Yes, Sammy, tell me. Maleficent is a fairy, right? Well, yeah. Sue! So, what? Shouldn't fairies be small and invisible? Oh. According to some legends, fairies aren't tiny creatures but invisible spirits who can transform into people. 
Even small fairies can become big if they want. Yeah, no, Sue. You are suspiciously well aware of fairies. Are you one of them by any chance? Oh, it's possible, Sammy. How do you think I got magic craft powers? <laughs> huh. It's still strange. Why didn't I know he said before? Huh. I'm gonna prepare treats. Yes, our guests might be hungry after the trip. Guys, do you believe in fairies? Give a thumbs up down there if you do. First, I advise you to cut out the windows and the door. Because the clay sets very quickly. And later, you won't be able to change anything. Let's make a little window in the front door. Carefully, this stage needs patience. To smooth the surface, wet your hands in water. Or sprinkle some water with a spray bottle. So, would you like a jelly? Oh, thanks, Sammy. Aha, uh -huh. interesting. What? What are you up to, Sam? That's strange. Anyway, let's continue covering the house with clay. Good. And I'll place this here. Sue, your favorite color is green, isn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Sammy, what are you writing there? I'm doing research. Oh, I guess I got it. Sam's trying to figure out if I'm a fairy. <laughs> Sometimes I think I might be. My hands are magic, that's for sure. <laughs> I think I can play along with him. In the meantime, we are at the finish line. It's the last tower to be covered! Well, well. <laughs> Your house looks magic. That means she has magic skills. Guys, check out the hotel we made! Let's cut out a few more windows. Alright, and add some magic. I think I'm on the threshold of a great discovery. Fairies can pretend to be people. Now let's make little logs out of the clay. Just like those you can see in the country or forest houses. I think a forester or a hunter could live in a hut like this. Or a witch. Ooh, right. An old witch cooking her potions and collecting magic herbs. Actually, I wish I had a house in a forest. Oh, she wants to have a house in the forest to make potions! I think he bought it. <laughs> Sammy, can you help me? Yes, Sue, how can I help? Could you make the roof, please? It's easy. Here, I'll show you. Huh, she's very polite and kind. Yes, so sure I can. You should do this. Got it! Look! So, don't you think something's missing? What do you mean? Looks perfect to me. Susie, you have some fairy dust in your eyes? Frames! You forgot window frames! Oh, Sam! <laughs> right you are. Let's make the window frames. Before, they were just invisible. But now, I'm gonna put a spell and you'll see them all. You can't trick me, Susie. You just forgot them. <laughs> That's right. It's hard to fool you. Let's add some more details. Like this. It'll seem like the basement's made of stone. This way. Oh, I'd like to stay in a house like this, too. Sue, our fairy hotel has so many windows. We can host a whole delegation. By the way, how many fairies are we expecting? Uh, I think around ten. Oh, my feta! So I have to make more treats! Don't worry, Sammy. We have a lot of things. I like the 
house we made, but that's not all. Here's the most interesting part. Let's make our gray house colorful. Oh, that's my favorite stage. By the way, Sammy, how's your research? Well, I figured out something. That I'm a fairy? So, how did you know? That was secret research. <laughs> you don't hide well, Sammy. I'm not a fairy. Are you sure? You fit in all respects. I am sure. Although there could be fairies in the family. Really? So I was right. <laughs> Maybe. Let's keep coloring the house. Guys, do you like coloring? I love it. I had lots of coloring books when I was little. This is kind of a new level. <laughs> do you want to paint the roof? Coloring roofs is my calling. Would you mind if I help you, Sammy? Nope. I really need your help because I still have to finish one thing. But don't ask me. It's a secret. Oh, okay. I'll finish myself. Your enthusiasm vanishes so quickly. <laughs> Guys, don't forget to turn the notifications on. Tink the bell. Tinker Bell? Are they already here? But I'm nothing's ready! Oh, no, Sammy. I just reminded our viewers to subscribe. Phew. I'm having a nervous breakdown. Don't worry. Check out this beautiful house. Oh, wow. I love to live in a house like this. Oh, sorry, Sam. You won't fit. Will you show me what you prepared? Yep, it's time. A forest house should be in a forest. Where can we find a forest? Here! I made a little grove so our guests can feel at home. Whoa! <gasps> it's genius, Sammy! You're a very gracious host. You made a great grove. Oh, now it is perfect! Come on, Sue, the fairies are here! Bye, guys! Do you think they'll like it? No doubt. What are you doing, Nanny Sam? I still don't move or speak. <sighs> Seems like I failed in the chicken parenting. No, now. Give them more time, and we can parent a little dinosaur while we're waiting. Holy cannoli! You've been hiding dinosaur eggs from me? Unexpected! <laughs> you wish. Ours will be grown out of clay. It's even better. I like new crafts. Little ones, Mommy Sam will be right back. Hi, guys! Do you want to have a cute little monster in your house? Let's make a baby version of Clombo from Fortnite! Where are they? I brought them new toys! It's too soon for playing. Our baby hasn't even hatched yet. This foil will help us create a shape of an eggshell. Then we need more foil! Clombo babies are pretty big! That's right! Let's keep kneading and flattening the lowest part. There you go! Susie, check this out! Oop! Oop! I've made a fried egg! <laughs> this color suits an eggshell more. 
It fits here perfectly. We'll wrap the clay around the foil. Ooh, hush baby Clumbo. Soon you'll transform into a healthy clay little monster. <laughs> Step away and I'll cut off the excess clay. Let's see. Okay, but the eggshell should turn out accurate just like mine. Or maybe a little bit better. Did I manage to fulfill your request, Sammy? Just a few finishing touches. We should extend the crack lines a bit further. And now it looks more authentic. See? You can finish it. Sure thing! Ugh. Be right back! Guys, you might be wondering why our baby Colombo is still missing. Hop! Here is bright pink clay and a wire for a body frame. We should measure the proper amount of wire. There we go. My turn! You know I'm the best wire wrecker among slimes and humans! Here we go! Ugh, bend here! Hold in half! Oh, I'm done! Sammy, you never disappoint me! Since we have a torso, I'll cover it with pink clay. Buy the mozzarella! Combo is pink too? Guys, will I look like a daddy? I have to get ready! <laughs> you should have a vivid imagination for that. Guys, we can layer the clay on the frame as much as we need. And smooth it down. From now on, nobody would say we're not related. Hmph, never mind. Combo, your dad is coming! <laughs> if you don't mind, I'll add one little piece here, guys. Just like this. Wow, that's really something. Oh, I can't believe our little baby is developing right before our eyes. Soon it will demand some real food. What do clombos eat? I did my research. They can be fed with clomberries. Interesting. But I doubt we can find them in a regular store. I'm up. Then you have some time to find its snacks while I'm working. Come on, mother hen. Um, are you sure it wouldn't like such a clomberry? It looks yummy. <laughs> Bring something better. But what do we have here? Oh. I found a cookie! Here you go! Ouch! Sugar me cheddars! Hurry it out! Right you are, Sammy! <laughs> we still have to figure out how to grow other limbs for it, so stay tuned! An apple? No. Maybe a cupcake? Nope. <laughs> a burger, then! Ah, <sighs> oh, Susie, I give up! Maybe our Clombo isn't hungry yet? So we can turn to our old-fashioned clay method. Besides, we still have a few limbs to make. Oh, you're gonna blend two colors! Are you gonna use that thing over there? Bingo! And this is what we've got! I've measured the right length for the next limb, Susie! Here you go! Repeat those steps five more times! I can do it! With some magic! Thanks for the help! Let's proceed! Now I'll put the limbs in the right position. We need to make a few creases and one more bend. Sue, I should resemble Clombo too! After all, I'll be the first thing the baby will see! <laughs> then you certainly should look convincing! But I'm sure the baby will love me anyway. It will hug you with all his limbs. <laughs> Sue, I brought you more parts! Here you go! And thanks for cheering me up! Buy the mozzarella! I want to help baby Columbo stand on its feet! Let's do it then! One, I'll wrap you or you'll freeze out there! <laughs> this piece of net fabric wasn't supposed to be a blanket. It'll create a slightly uneven skin texture. Oh my feta! You grew a really thick skin! Being a parent isn't easy, especially if you have a baby monster. But would you just look at it? Holy 
cannoli! That baby is absolutely harmless! You think so? Careful now, we're making his glowing sharp eyes! Oh, that's right! Those eyes start glowing flames when Clombos are furious! I should be alert! Ooh, our baby dino is showing its rebellious character! <laughs> what if it is better at mischief than you, Sammy? Let's see how fierce it is! Try me! Come on, come on! Yeah, come on! I'm right! Here! Uh-huh! You're not scary! Ah! It was just a joke, right? It's not going to attack me, huh? Until it will start shooting acid balls like in the game, you're safe! Phew! Okay, okay! What? Acid balls? Guys, now this baby Clumbo can observe the world around it! That's cool, right? Let's make nostrils so it can find some clumberries to chew! Maybe you could recognize my smell too? Here, I brought Clumbo my favorite hat! You're so cute! I'm sure we'll lick your face to show its gratitude! Woohoo! Then what are we waiting for? Here's some red clay for ya! Clumbos have long, lizard-like tongues. It is quite easy to make one. Let me see, Sue! Like this? Nah, make it shorter! Okay! That's better! I think it came out just right now! Clumbo, say ah! Good dino! Woohoo! First selfie! First selfie! How should I stand? Maybe like this? Let's do it! Stop mocking me with this tongue, young thing! Columbo is just waiting for his teeth implantation! Oh, it finally started growing first! Ew, they're already so greasy! What can I say? Dinosaurs and Columbos don't tend to use toothbrushes! Guys, did you hear that? Let's see how it looks in reality! You're gonna like the result, guys! Actually, I taught Columbo some dino fashion rules! It wouldn't learn how to wear those! Let's see… Head decors without me! Cool, right? It means that we're moving to the final part! See what you've got there, Miss Susan! Listen to me! Now we'll join our clay forces with the pink ones! Sir, yes, sir! Aha! Guys, do you like when Sue listens to me? Give me a ton of thumbs up, then! When you're finished attaching pink clay, carefully remove the excess. Now I have everything ready! Ah! The oven is preheated to 110 degrees Celsius! I'm almost done! A drop of transparent nail polish on the eyes… And a little bit of it over here… Now comes the finishing touch! There you go, Columbo! Sit in your fancy crib! Guys, let's check out my first dino baby! I'm so excited, Ah! Hey, buddy! Let's finally meet your cousins! Shiver me, Cheddars! Two are missing! They may have hatched while you were gone! Congratulations! Does that mean I have triplets in one day? Hey, but you shouldn't bully them, alright? Why would such a cute baby do that? Right, little one? Guys, if you liked our dinosaur, then give us a thumbs up! Bye-bye! Bye-bye, guys! Say bye, Clumbo! <laughs> it's alright, cutie. Aww.
Ta-da, ta-da-da! Sue, stop lying around on the couch! It's time for us to go! Huh? To go where, Sammy? What do you mean, where? You said we're going to see the waterfall today! Sammy, you didn't get it! I said we're going to see the new fountain! Aww, well, it's not that interesting! Hmm, and what if we make some kind of a waterfall ourselves? Ooh, now you're talking! I'm getting changed! Let's go make the craft! Hi, guys! Today we're going to make a mini fountain for home decor, and I'm so excited! Just imagine playing in the house and listening to the sound of a real water feature. Sue, so, we're gonna make a fountain from this? It doesn't look good. Sammy, we'll make a base from these foam sheets and then we'll cover it with cement. Oh, that sounds much better. It'll look like it's made from real stone. Our fountain will be made of two parts, a lower level with a pool and an upper level in the shape of a hill. Oh, <laughs> seems like Sam is busy with something. The upper level is mine. Wait for me and I'll surprise you. <laughs> and here we go. The proper shape is done. Can you see the contour, guys? Well, Sue, how are you doing here? I see you finished this layer. Yeah, but the pool isn't deep enough for my liking. Let's fix it right now. Two and three. That's much better. What's up with you, Sammy? Check this out, Susan. I'll call it Sam the Great Hill. <laughs> Sue, save me! <laughs> Don't worry, I've got you. I see that you cut holes in all the layers. Yeah, it's my upgrade. We'll hide a plastic tube in there so that water from the pool will rise to the top of the hill. Hmm, maybe we can upgrade the lower level too. Do you have any ideas? Let's make a mill wheel. <gasps> An elimination. These are great ideas. Sammy? Um, what? You know what I need. Oh no, Susan, not the cookie. That's my last one. <laughs> no, silly. I just wanted to put two tubes inside the lower level to hide the wires. Hey, Ultimadaba, my cookie is safe! Guys, check this out. We'll place two tubes at an angle so that water from the pool won't come inside. It's time to glue all of the layers together. Whoosh, whoosh! <laughs> Go on, guys, add more glue to it! Be careful, Susan. Don't glue yourself to it. <laughs> I'll do my best, Sammy. All right, let's put two layers together like this. Oh, there's a nice view from here. Oh, careful! Put me back! Pull yourself together, Sammy. It's almost done. Phew, that was a terrific roller coaster. By the way, did you see that our fountain doesn't have a base? Yeah, that's why I made this ground level from foam board. There you go. And finally, this is our Sam the Great Hill. I like this name. Oh yeah, let's cover it all with cement. So what do we need? Guys, I'll give you the easiest recipe. To make a cement mixture, we'll take water and cement powder, of course. Okay, give me something to do too. Well, we just need one more ingredient, the sand. Oh, that's easy. Guys, let's go digging in the garden. And the cement mixture is ready. Check this out, guys. It's time to do some magic. Sue, so, it's not a magic thing. We'll just cover the base with cement. You're partially right, Sammy. But it certainly looks cool, huh? Well, I definitely want to see the final result. How long are you going to do this? Oh, right. I have to mention that we'll need to make several cement layers and wait for each of them to dry. Holy cannoli! That's a lot of time! Uh, I need to distract myself. Hmm, what does a real crafter need for work? Ha! Anything! All right, guys. We're on the right path. Let's just add more cement on the other side. Sammy, it seems like you have something in mind. Oh, yeah. Y'all gonna love this. Go on, Susan. The first layer is ready. Let's place the gauze on top. There you go. Hmm, that's right. And what about this one? What are these measurements for, Sammy? Care to share with us? No, no, it's confidential information, Susan. <laughs> okay, you'll tell us when it's time. Hey, we finished the gauze layer, guys. Let's add the second layer of the cement mixture, then. Whoa, Sue! You're doing awesome! We made it even faster this time. Now let it dry for several hours. Sue, I finished the design. We're gonna build a house on top of the fountain. Cool, let me see. Um, Sammy, isn't it too abstract? Well, maybe I get carried away a little, but I already cut all pieces out of a foam board. Let's check it out. Oh, it looks just right! Let's build the house then. It turned out even better than on my picture! 
Our little house needs more decor. Sammy, could you bring the tile, please? And I'll take care of the texture. Got it. Ugh, it's so heavy. Sue, help me. <laughs> Sammy? I'm okay, Sue. I'm coming. There you go. Thanks, Sammy. Let's see. This tile is made from foam. This foam is also called flexible suede and is often used in handiwork. So check this out. We can place these bars on top of the roof. Great, Sammy. Just let me finish here. Uh, master, please. I can't hold them any longer. Uh. You're just unbearable, Samuel. That's it. Now let's paint all the walls. Guys, you can pick whatever color you want. Yeah, everything you can imagine. From bright pink to earwax color. <laughs> That's something new. Anyway, Sammy, do you have anything for me? Never use it, but yes, I do. All houses should have windows and doors. Well, all traditional houses at least. Guys, let's count all the windows here. One. And two. Oh, that's the highest one. The third one is on the sidewall. Hello, neighbors. And one more. Although it's not a window, but a flower bed. Don't mess with us, Sammy. Ah, uh, flowers under the windows will be perfect. Ah, what a nice scent. Let's add some stones to the walls. It'll make them look more real. Guys. Watch your hands when working with the hot glue gun. Wow, let's count the stones too! 10, 11, 12. Oh no, I give up, there are too many of them! Check out these stones, guys! They don't look quite real just yet. Let's color them. I'll do it! It'll take you too long! Like this, Sue! That's how you do it! Sammy, just admit that you wanted to color them by yourself. And you did a really great job! I'll add some green moss on the walls for a more natural look. And I'll cover the fountain with a third and final layer of cement. The most exciting part is yet to come! Finally, after several hours, the cement dried out. All this time, Sue and I were thinking about how we could upgrade the fountain and… The first piece is a water slide. It'll be right on top of the hill. Then the water will flow here through a mill wheel. Whoosh! And fall into the pool. Cool, right? Now I'm gonna make the mill wheel. It was my greatest idea for today. <laughs> and while Sammy's creating stuff, let's make the slide. We'll use some clay for it. Don't you think it's too simple for your skills, Susan? Don't worry about me, Sammy. I'll find some use for my crafting skills, too. Guys, check out how flexible this modeling clay is. You can make whatever you want. Even the mill wheel? Even a wheel like this one. But we need a rotating mill wheel, so keep working. Okay, we are done with the molding clay. Keep your pace, but remember that the clay will gradually solidify. Why are you just telling me that now? This wood could have stuck to me forever! <laughs> Don't worry, Sammy, it'll take the whole day anyway. <gasps> it already looks so good! I can't wait to see it with the water flowing down. Ahem! <laughs> I think you forgot something, Susan! Whoops! <laughs> My bad. Guys, we'll cover the fountain with acrylic paint to make it look more realistic. Add more color here, Sue! No, no, here too! And there as well! Now, go down a bit, Sue! Sammy, maybe you can do it by yourself. Slimes are good at decorating! It looks amazing, Sammy! Well done! So, look! Do I look like a helicopter? <laughs> Sammy! Guys, check out our wheel! Sue, so, but what is this thing? We need this bearing to make our mill wheel spin! Well, I can teach it a proper spin! Whoa! <laughs> You're a pro at this! But we can't do it, cause water will just spray everywhere! Oh no! I don't want to clean up that mess then! Sue, there's a little gift for you! Oh, a water pump! Guys, we'll use it to send water up to the top of the fountain! But it won't work without a battery! Be prepared! And we also need an intensity regulator! If you don't know what that looks like, just google it! Or ask an adult! You'll need their help at this stage anyway! Okay, the mechanism is ready! The next thing we'll do is… Glue the house to the top of the hill! Ah, oh, what a view! And do the same with the mill wheel here! Beatboxy resin is ready, Sue! Let's make it glow! 
Guys, we'll cover our fountain with two layers of epoxy resin. It'll make it shiny and create a water protection barrier. Wow! Check this out, it's so cool! You got it right? Then continue by yourself. I believe in you! Wait until it sets! A little bit more… Even more… Okay, now you can check this out! Looks awesome, right? And I added some decor by myself! Whoa! Sammy already set the pump and steam generator! Guys, do you want to see the result? I know you do! <laughs> Let's go! of the water are so calming. Nothing can distract me. Wee! I'm coming! Guys, make room for me too! The water looks so refreshing! Um, Sammy, it's not what I imagined we'd use this fountain for. What's the difference? It just has to be fun! <laughs> well, I think Sam is right. Do you agree, guys? Please cheer us up with your thumbs up. And subscribe to our channel! I'm gonna do some swimming! See y'all! Bye-bye! Sue, I need your help! It's urgent! What's up, Sammy? I was just… checking out the garbage! <laughs> you were doing what, Sammy? Be serious, Susie! Anyway, a black cat crossed my path! So what? It must have been Mr. Snuffles, our neighbor's cat. He runs away pretty often. Oh, yeah? And what about the bad luck he brought into my life? <gasps> Sammy, are you okay? Uh, I'm telling you, that's the black cat's fur! Oh, enough, Sammy. It's just an animal that happens to have black fur. I'm gonna prove to you right now that black cats can actually bring light. Come on. Hi, guys. Today we're going to make a cute LED lamp in the form of that little kitten. This is how the lamp will look from the side. And this is the way it'll look from the front. Awesome, right? Whoa! Susan! <laughs> That's right, Sammy. Despite any of your superstitions, guys, we'll need a 3D pen. We're gonna use it a lot today. Remember to be careful. Here we go. By the way, guys, you can browse our channel to find more 3D pen crafts we've made. As you've noticed, we started with the outlining of the cat's body. Be very careful with the pen, guys. The plastic inside is really hot. Like this. We're not drawing the cat's ears just yet. All right. Now we can start filling in the space. Just make sure that you've made it visible where the cat's paw is. Okay, now we need to take this off and start shaping the head of our cat. So, let's move to the full face drawing. Guys, you'd better start by drawing the line straight in the middle, like this. Why do we need that, Susan? I'll show you in a second, Sammy. In the meantime, could you please bring me the scissors? You'd really be helping me a lot. <laughs> Sure, in a blink of an eye. So, did you have enough time to blink? Wow, that was fast, Sammy. We'll carefully take this off. And cut this piece in half, moving along the line we drew first. 
Be careful with scissors. So, I don't get it. First you draw a line, now you cut it. What's the point? <laughs> Watch this, Sammy. Huh? Wow. I thought some magic wouldn't do any harm. <laughs> now we'll attach this part to the big one using a 3D pen. This way. Oh, I see. That was to give volume to the cat's head. Do you get it, guys? Then give a thumbs up. Check this out. Here's what we've got. Hmm, it looks like a flower to me. <laughs> You're right, Sammy. So, I just checked the internet. Do you know how old this thing with black cats and bent log is? Well, go on. Surprise me, Sammy. It dates back to the Middle Ages when people tended to believe in curses and witchcraft. Exactly, Sammy. You see, people back then didn't know as much as they do today. They were afraid of anything that was unusual. Take this 3D pen, for example. I bet if you and I could travel back in time and show them this pen, they would have taken us for wizards doing some dark magic. <laughs> Speaking of magic, hop, voila! <laughs> Guys, we made this part of our cat lamp exactly like we made its head. If having a cat means is knowing how to do magic, then I don't mind. In fact, I think I'm gonna give Fluffy a treat. Here, kitty kitty! Now you're talking, Sammy. <laughs> Did you know that there are 200 different breeds of cats in the world? Can you imagine? Really? That many? Oh yeah. It also says that there are at least 600 million domestic cats in the world. Now imagine how many of those are black. <laughs> Animals have nothing to do with mysteries. Actually, Sammy, I wouldn't be so sure about that. For example, in ancient Egypt, they believed cats were magical creatures. I remember they had a goddess named Bastet who could transform into a cat. Right. Ancient Egyptians believed that this deity was responsible for the fruitfulness of crops. So they kept cats in their houses, fed them deliciously, and even put expensive jewelry on them to butter up Bastet. Oh, and did it work? It did. Although I think jewelry probably had nothing to do with it. Cats were catching mice so that they couldn't spoil the grain. <laughs> wow, Susie, are you finishing? Not exactly, Sammy. Just a few touches left. Hurry up, Sue! I'm trying, Sammy. What an impatient slime you are. Ugh. Okay, guys, now the body of our cat lamp is pretty much sturdy. Check this out. We even drew this little paws over here. And a little collar. Susie, don't take it personally, but... Those parts you're talking about are hardly visible. None taken, Sammy. Besides, we'll deal with that right now. Guys, a soldering iron is not a toy. Ask an adult to help you at this stage. Our aim here is to carefully flatten the plastic all over the craft. This way. Phew, you're gonna need a lot of patience. <laughs> ah, it'll take an eternity. I 
better go grab something tasty. Oh, Sammy, Sammy, my little sweet tooth. <laughs> well, in the meantime, we'll keep working. <laughs> what? Oh no! My candies! Fluffy! <sighs> Easy, Sammy. Breathe. He's a divine creature. Ah! Uh, at least my Nutella is safe in the fridge. Huh. To me, it looks great. What do you say, guys? Give a thumbs up if you agree. Uh, uh. Susie, this cat looks amazing. Let me see it. Hmm. Although it's still missing a few details. Like ears, you mean? Don't worry. Here they are. And they're already smooth and neat. Exactly as they should be. To make our cat smooth, too, we need a polishing tool. Use this under an adult supervision. <laughs> I trust Susan with this type of work. Oh, I'm sorry, Sammy. This stuff is flying everywhere. <laughs> it's okay. Now I'm properly equipped. <laughs> Phew. Finally. Now our craft looks like this. Nice, huh? Okay, guys. We can finally make our cat look more like a cat. <laughs> Wait, Sue! Let the master handle this! 3D Panicus at Tachikus! Now that's what I call magic! <laughs> wow, Sammy! The ears look so real now! You did a really great job! And so quickly! Now it's my turn to demonstrate my magical skills to you! <laughs> Whoosh! Guys, at the tip of the tail there should be this tiny hedge! We'll need it to hang up the light bulb. Speaking of light, can I borrow the 3D pen? Of course. Thank you. I wonder what he's up to. Guys, you'll need to cover your workspace for the next stage of our craft. We're going to do some painting. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, I just love this dim black color. Sue, are you already done? Almost, Sammy. We just need to draw a cute little face. Let's start with the eyes. We'll take some white color and carefully paint all this space. Don't rush. Like this. I love painting our crafts. It's kind of like meditation and fun at the same time. Just don't go beyond the edges, Sue. Smooth touches. Smooth! Oh, that restless slime. <laughs> he always tries to control me. How much longer? I'm already hungry. What this impatience of yours is all about? Anyway, fine. I'll speed up. Check out how cool our lamp is now! you liked it, Sammy. I hope you don't mind if I put it in my room. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Your room? What? Uh, see you guys. Sue, wait up. Oh, no. Looks like I won't be able to get out this time. You can't hide forever. I'll take the treasure for myself and buy a whole ton of beauty products. Yep. Uh-oh. Never. You won't win. Get ready to freeze. I score a frost. Go. 
Hey guys, can you be quiet? I'm trying to concentrate here. Oopsie. My blush, my eyeshadows. Oh no. Sammy! I mean, it's just makeup items, right? Just makeup? Just? I will. You will. Oh, how could you say that? Sorry, Susie. It was an accident. I didn't mean to break your stuff. <laughs> Let's make you new makeup items. Look, I've got a lot of beautiful shiny clay. Well, okay. But only because this clay is really very beautiful. Since I'm in charge today, I suggest starting with an eyeshadow palette. And Jane and I will be helping you. This is just the right tool for the job. Thanks, Sammy. I really appreciate it. Let's get started. I want to make my new palette about this size. Jane, get this. With this plumper, you'll have the most beautiful lip. Oh, really? No, no. You won't be able to enlarge your lips like that. See, it's a mold. We'll cut the spaces for eyeshadows with it. Ah, now I get it. Make way, Susie. I'm supposed to help. It's okay, Sammy. I can do it myself. So, let's see. The treasure must be somewhere here. I'm telling ya. Ah, oh, there you are. An old sea dog like myself is never wrong about treasure. <laughs> wow. This is... This is... Wait a minute. It's just glitter. And it's just what we need. I'll cover the top part of the eyeshadow palette with it. Look, it's kind of magic glow. Hey, hey, wait! Are you going to make the eyeshadows out of these? Yep, I will just use that mold from earlier today to do it. See, it's easy peasy, really. Now we'll just put each shade in its place. And I've got the last two. <laughs> oh, I'm so slick. Well, friends, what do you say? Wow, it looks so beautiful. Will you do me some makeup? Pretty please. <laughs> sure, but first we need to craft the makeup base. Woo! Catch the wave! Or oh, whatever they say. Hey! Hop on, Sammy. <laughs> Am I doing it right, too? Yes, everything is fine. Let me just cut off the excess and make little notches, just like any real cosmetic tube has. Oh, my precious. <gasps> this is a real work of art. And luckily, it's lunchtime. I've been waiting for this since breakfast. That toothpick, right. Why? Why on earth did you do that? It is ruined now. Ruined, huh? Just like my old makeup stuff. Oh, right. Well then, it's still food anyway. Um, nom, nom, nom. Oh, Sammy, Sammy. <laughs> now let's make this bottleneck look more realistic. And finally, we are moving on to the makeup base. <laughs> hmm, this tone is what you need. You're an expert now, as I see. <laughs> oh, can we do this already? Yes, let's try it. Mm hmm, mm hmm, it looks great on you. Yay! We definitely need a makeup brush. To use it to apply eyeshadows, right? Uh-huh, who'll do it, me or you? Then let's draw two sticks. Whoever gets the short one wins. Well, looks like you won. It's only fair. I mean, I already played with the makeup base. Hooray! Oh, I know exactly what color I'll choose. Or maybe even two at once. And I just need this toothpick. We need a holder for the soft part of the brush. Right here. And we need the makeup brush itself, of course. Here we go. Make yourself comfortable, Jane. So, I want to choose, I want to choose uh, this color. Ah, perfect. It really brings out the color of your eyes. Oh, yes, I'm so pretty. Wait, I'm not done yet. What? One more shade? Wow. This is amazing. Yes, it turned out very well. But now we need a blusher. But first, let's make a brush so we have something to apply them with. No, no, no. This won't do. We need to make it more realistic. <laughs> okay, let's add more detail if you insist. Now, let's roll out the clay, a bit giving it the shape of a real brush. Here you are. I think you made something like this for a small brush. Thank you. We will wrap the thick part of the brush to get the bristles holder. See? And this step is to make everything hold together. Carefully, like this. And big, soft and fluffy brush for the blusher is done. <laughs> now it's time to move on to making the blusher. Let's just mix all the colors together. Our blusher cannot stay in a ball shape. Let's roll it out. And now it's time to give it a perfect shape. <laughs> Come on, cut out, you! Uh. What to make the case from? Hmm, this one. Hey, C, 
do. Check me out. Do you think this crown suits me? Huh? Oh, precious mold crown. Help us with our crafting. Whoosh! Yay, it worked! I am the master of clay molds. And thank to be double for that. My hands are already tired of rolling out and cutting out all the clay. Glitter! We need more glitter. This is where we will place the mirror. This way we'll give a unique shape to our blusher case. And here we go. Oh, come on. Hmm, it doesn't want to hold on at all. What to do now? Oh, I have an idea. Who's ready to take part in a competition for the fastest ice cream eater? I was born ready. Let's do this. <laughs> that was tasty. Yeah. Sue, do you happen to have any more ice cream? <laughs> Sorry, Jane, but that's all I had. I'm glad you liked it, though. Now we can make a frame for the blush case parts to stay attached. Here we go. Perfect. It turned out beautiful and functional. My favorite kind. It is blush time. Ha ha! Is my model ready? Ooh la la! <laughs> How do you like it? I think it is definitely your style. Great! Except my lips are kind of dry. Thanks for the idea. We will now make lip balm. Oh. <laughs> Red on turquoise. Just a sight for sore eyes. Beautiful, bright and juicy moisturizing lip balm is done. Let's help our Jane as soon as possible. Oh, it immediately felt better. Thanks. The lip balm is good. But let's add color and make a lipstick. First, we need to roll out the color base. Now Susan will make a neat cut at the top. Yeah, just like the real lipsticks have. Now we will make a lipstick holder or case. I never know what it's called. Don't forget that we have two lipsticks, so we need two holders. And of course, the lipstick packaging itself should also be beautiful and shiny. We did great! And these are my favorite shades of pink. I think this shade would look especially good on you, Jane. Wait a minute, where did the second lipstick go? Uh, sorry, I got a little carried away and smeared it all over myself. <laughs> it's okay, this color suits you very well, Sammy. Uh -huh. Do you know what else we're missing here? Nail polishes! That's for sure, I will make three of them. Look what I can do, I'll roll them out all at once now. <laughs> and this is what I can do. Abracadabra, smoosh! Great! We just need to put everything together. And the nail polish collection is ready, too. How about a little manicure, Jane? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. You look stunning! Oh, wow! What a beautiful nail polish! It's even better than the one I had. Did you like our craft? Was it a good idea to replace your makeup? Everything is great, Sammy. We got what we needed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I think that someone here is also completely delighted. Woohoo! I'm so beautiful now that I don't need any pirate treasures. Thank you for being with us today, fellas. Give a thumbs up to this video and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye. Sammy, what's up? I'm waiting for a message! What message? The one that's in the bottle from the pirates of the past! And since you're far from the sea, you decided to make your own one? Why not? Just look! Water? Check! Is it deep? It sure is! Just like the sea! Oh, let me help you then, or you'll be waiting here forever! <laughs> Hi, guys! Today we're going to make something very unusual. A real pirate bottle with a message. I prepared some card 
cardboard. <laughs> Sammy, we won't use cardboard today. If you want to just paint a bottle, brushes are ready too. <laughs> oh, Sammy, for this craft, you need to awaken your inner Michelangelo. It's happening, Susie. I'm already feeling it. <laughs> At least now you have a beard like Michelangelo had. By the way, guys, did you know that Michelangelo is not only famous for his statue of David and his legendary pictures, he was also a genial architect. And what about Michelangelo from the Ninja Turtles, huh? <laughs> I doubt he could either draw or make sculptures. But he fought with villains and liked pizza very much, like I do. Guys, if you like pizza as much as Sammy and Mikey do, give us a thumbs up. Do you have a sketch of our future craft? No, I'll free my creativity and let my imagination lead me. Just think about this. A pirate ship attacked a vessel. After boarding, the pirates noticed it was a royal ship. There was a great battle, but the pirates were defeated. And in the very last minute of his life, <gasps> the captain hid a treasure map inside the bottle and threw it overboard. The bottle was resting at the bottom of the sea for hundreds of years. The coral grew on it, and still nobody in the whole world has a chance to find those treasures without that very bottle. Wow, Sue, what a story! So what happened to the treasures? You'll see when we finish our craft. Sue, don't take it personal. It's coming out great, but that doesn't look like a bottle at all. I've been meaning to ask you about that. I entrust you with the most important part. Could you choose a proper bottle? Thank you for this honor! You won't be disappointed. <laughs> I have no doubts. In the meantime, we're at the finish line, guys. I can't wait to see the result. Does that mean I'll be able to play with the bottle soon? Not so fast, Sammy. Can you please turn on the oven? The oven? Do you want to bake cookies between the craft stages? <laughs> no, since it's polymer clay, we need to bake it a little bit to make it set. We'll put all our items on the oven tray. The oven is ready! Now we need to bake these at 130 degrees Celsius. Guys, you better ask an adult to help you at this stage. Let's continue. Sammy, did you find a bottle? Sure, I bet you'll like it. No, you'll be astonished! Sounds intriguing. Bring it in. On my way! Oh, no! Looks like my basketball training wasn't a waste after all. Good macaroons! So I'm so clumsy! Luckily, you're so nimble. Actually, you did a great job, Sammy. The bottle is just perfect for our craft. I also made a base for it. Here, take this! Awesome, Sammy! The bottle fits in just perfectly. But we're gonna decorate it just a little bit. Let's start with this beautiful seaweed. And now it's time to attach our coral polyps that we've baked already. There we go. And a little bit more seaweed. Sue! I brought more baked coral! Thank you, Sammy. They'll look perfect right here. And don't forget about our amazing deep sea mushrooms. few finishing touches. Sue, you forgot the shells! Thank you, Sammy. You're right, it looks way better this way. Here comes our main item, an octopus. Sue, make this octopus wrap its tentacles around the bottle! Great idea! By the way, the octopus is actually a fantastic creature. It has three hearts, rectangle pupil of the eye, blue blood, more than 10,000 taste buds on every tentacle, and high intelligence. Impressive, huh? Guys, I just checked that and it's true! Why did you check? I never lied to you, Sammy. Oh yeah? Remember how you told me there was no ice cream left? Well, that was a bold-faced lie! I just care about your health. Sometimes you need to eat broccoli, not only ice cream. Let's not argue now! You know, looking at our octopus made me think that we should add some detail so it looks more realistic. You have so many genius ideas. Tiny details can change everything. It's time for a little trick. Huh? I think it's better now. What do you say, Sue? It's wonderful, Sammy. What else can it be when the great decorator gets to work? <laughs> now we can bake our masterpiece. The earlier we start, 
have to wait long? Just ten minutes. See you soon, octopus! And... Drum roll! Ta-da! It looks so great! Is it time to paint already? You're totally right this time! Come on, bring some paints! Be right back! Do you like this color palette? Wow, awesome! Metallic colors will do great for our bottle! Check out how it shimmers! Guys, did you know that there are about 350 hues of coral polyps in the world? Their color depends on the organic impurities in the water. That means I was right choosing all these hues! By the way, guys, you can use any colors you'd like to paint your craft! Sammy, that's all great, but don't you want to help me? Sure! You know I'm a great painter! Phew! Sue, I think I need a break. I knew I'd have to do everything myself. Ugh. It's coming out nice, but I think something is missing. Let's add some golden overtones. There! Now it looks much better! Well, fantastic job, Sue! You're just in time! I really can't do without you! I'm at your service! Let me get my brush! Coming! Wow! Sue, it looks so real! Uh-huh! As if we just took it up from the sea bottom! Guys, let's check it out once more! I see you found something interesting! Oh my feta, Sue! It's a real pirate's treasure map! Can you believe that? I hope we'll find mini candies, puppets, and colorful stickers! <laughs> I guess a great adventure is waiting for you! Oh, Sammy, wait! You forgot to say goodbye to our friends! Oh, I'm sorry, guys! I'm sure you understand! It's hard to remember things when you smell a good piece of adventure! Give us a thumbs up if you like this craft! And subscribe to our channel! Don't forget to hit the bell button not to miss our next video! Bye-bye! <sighs> Finally, I can relax. Ah! Ah! Close it up, quick! Why are you hiding in there? That's my scientific experiment, Susan! I'm trying to get into a parallel universe. And how is that going? Still poorly. The fairy tale book didn't work out. Neither did the mirror. I just got a huge bump! Have you tried visiting platform nine and three quarters? Holy cannoli, do you have tickets? Wait, actually, it can be pretty easy. Where do you want to head to? Hmm, to somewhere like Bikini Bottom. 
Then Susan Crafts Airlines will get you there. Yippee! What a fast flight! So, where are all the famous sights? Don't rush, Sammy. First, welcome to Bikini Bottom. Are you kidding me? It's just a piece of styrofoam. Not for long. First, we'll add real sand onto the seabed. We'll mix some sand with glue to make an oozy texture. Beep, beep. Give way, Slick Slime. Hey! I guess I forgot to mention one condition. We'll build it ourselves. Sounds like a work and travel program. <laughs> I'm in. Cool. But we need to replace your shovel with a better tool. Agreed. So our bikini bottom will be made out of clay. Shiver me cheddars! SpongeBob's pineapple house is the first in a row! Yep, we'll use a simple ruler to make small divots. Susie, how much do you want? I'll buy it. No need. You can live here rent free. If you can squeeze in, of course. <laughs> You have made it a bit bigger. <sighs> well, I wish you'd said something a bit earlier. But if you want that so badly. Okay, I changed my mind. We'd better make that one perfect. Some shading will make it look more realistic. Check this out. You can try that too. Let's do this. Wow, you're right. Guys, it works out so well. together. We'll join those clay pieces. You'd better use clay modeling tools. And here's the final result. Boop. I didn't stay aside as well and make another window. Great job! They look like illuminators. SpongeBob brought everything to his house. He's a crafter too. Guys, it looks like we've just made a big discovery. We'll attach the door to the house. Now we can invite guests. What are you talking about? The house isn't ready. Come on, Sammy. Here, blow off some steam. You know that there's no steam in Bikini Bottom, right? All right, nerdy. Then we'll attach it to the house to release water bubbles instead. Dear Bottomites, welcome to the famous pineapple house. A pineapple without the leaves? You must be kidding, Sue. Oh, right. Anyway, we need to grow the leaves first. Let's make these pieces into several shapes and in different sizes. And then we'll add some shades to them. Easy peasy. I'm joining you. Slime artist is never ever done. Then how about a few outdoor decorations? This is so much better. Let's place them right now. Gardening under the sea. Ha, ah, what a life. Ouch! Hey, what are you? Don't you have any ideas? Okay, wait just a little bit and I'll give you a huge hint. I may need to change my attire. Ha ha! Hello, Mr. Clay Sculptor. What is this beard for? Have you seen famous sculptors? Seriously, they all had beards. Wow, maybe I should start growing a beard myself. Don't bother. I'm gonna do all the sculpting jobs for you. Haha. <laughs> Guys, do you recognize this house now? Who lives here? That's Squidward's house! It resembles the giant statues from Easter Island. Yeah, so Mr. Tentacles has an artistic soul. So do I. Whoosh. Great. Let's attach the eyes under his thick eyebrow. This design totally slaps. Play door service! Just a second. The door is in its place. Hi, I'm working at Sea Doors Designs. Let's add some wooden texture. And the final touch. Let's attach a doorknob here. Uh, too high. Maybe there? Aha! Guys, it looks amazing. Give us a thumbs up. Home delivery service. We'll deliver this house right to the destination. Susie, hot news. I'm moving too. Okay, I see. Are you gonna live under the rock like Patrick Star? 
Now your future house looks too plain. Let me fix it. And ta-da! Now all we need is to add a few designer solutions. Like this weather vane! A water storm is coming in that direction! All done! Well, this is the most minimalistic house we've ever made. But it's good anyway. Miss, are you ready to purchase one of these estates? We have them all! Houses from fruit, houses from stone, and sweet dwellings for a low budget. Hmm, I don't know. I want to live in a more green suburb. That we can do! Check out this amazing meadow! Oh, this is much better! Now I'm actually considering moving to Bikini Bottom. Let's meet my new neighbors then. Or, actually, we'll create them from scratch. <laughs> this looks cute and squishy! <gasps> Susan! Did you find a replacement for me? No, silly. It's totally not like that. Uh, well… It's just a jellyfish that lives on jellyfish fields. Check out these colorful spots on its belly. Careful! It'll distract you with its pretty freckles and then replace you! Stay away from them, guys. <gasps> See? They are irresistible! Woo! Sammy, help me to make lots of jellyfish. All right! Guys, don't forget to press the bell button and stay tuned. We'll keep rolling. Susie, hurry up! If we don't finish the field soon, these corals will stay living on me! No, no, we can't let that happen! Go, oh, guys, quick! Here you go! Welcome to the jellyfish fields! Hop! And hop! Here's the sign for all newcomers so nobody will get lost again! It's time to expand the territory. We're waiting for more bottomites to arrive. Yeah? Uh-huh. Uh, sorry, guys, it's all booked. Maybe in another universe! Should we make more SpongeBob crafts? Give us a thumbs up if you think so! The next step is shading. Let's get to it. A natural canvas! Holy cannoli! I love nude challenges! Uh, Sammy, come on! You have plenty of space there! I'm an artist! I just follow my inspiration! Anyway, we did a good job here. Guys, check this out. Now we'll place it near the jellyfish fields. What a nice view. Susan! I brought new bikini bottomites here! Seaweed! Seaweed? But it doesn't look like one. Sure, because you have to create them first. It's obvious, right? Okay, let's see. Whoosh. Here we go. Something like that should do. The finishing touch is on me, then. Guys, keep it up. Who would have thought that growing seaweed could be so easy? It turns out that we don't even need a real sea for it. <laughs> Here are your new neighbors! Please don't fight. Okay, say bikini! Hmm, something's wrong. Huh? Everything seems to be alright. Interesting. <gasps> Susie, we forgot the life buoy. Why? Do you want to act like you're drowning? No, I mean THE life buoy! Oh, I got it. Yeah, then we need some orange clay. I've already prepared a buoy shape! Get your paints! It's already done! How do we spell bikini? Just like Sammy in pretty and flawless letters, haha. <laughs> I hope this suffices, Sammy. Susie, stop tickling me. I'm lifting weights here. Sammy, I didn't even touch you. Maybe it was. <gasps> ah, no! Take them off! Take them off! Sammy, run here, quick! Ah! There, guys. From now on, you live here. Sue, so you're my hero. I thought I'd die from their spikes. Ahem. <clears throat> you know that these urchins are harmless for slimes, right? You're just telling me this now. And miss such a drama? No way. <laughs> anyway, let's finish the decor. Come on, it. We'll see you in Bikini Bottom in a second.
Ah, uh, this is nice. Susan, I finally resolved my issue. We'll destroy the SpongeBob universe to create multiple parallel universes. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Just answer one question first. What is Doctor Strange doing in Bikini Bottom? Easy peasy. He's just... He's just... Uh, I forgot to think that through. Never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna save Bikini Bottom from you. Guys, she ruined my plan. Give me more thumbs ups to recharge my battery of mischief. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe. See y'all. Sammy, Sammy, where are you? We're bored. What if he's hiding from us? Let's see. Sammy, are you here? What do you see? What do you see? Uh, just the paper, Sam. Uh, where did he go? Oh, look. No, it's not him again. No, it's not him. What if he doesn't want to play? No, that can't be it. Sammy? Look! Ah! Sammy, Sammy, let's play. What? How did you find me? Ah! Mm -hmm. Sue, for how long are you going to chill here? Don't you know that I'm in trouble? Oh, hi, Sammy. What kind of trouble are we talking about? What? LOL dolls are torturing me with all that let's play. And you are entertaining yourself here with air plasticine instead of helping me. Oh, since you're too busy to play along with the dolls, you need to come up with an exciting activity for them. Trust me on this. And crafts from an air plasticine are very exciting. Well, I don't think that those fidgets would want to sit quietly and sculpt. What in the name of cookies? Hey, how did that get there? Well, it depends on what to sculpt, actually. They will hardly resist a new playground. Oh, <laughs> you see? They are already helping. If that was a stone in my bucket, Susie, I'm actually helping too. Um, and where did the assistant go? Okay, this goes right here. There you go. The basis for the first swing on our playground is ready. Here, Sue. You work with plasticine, so you need a rolling pin. <laughs> You're just in time. But you miscalculated with the tool. <laughs> Such a wide plastic piece will work much better for us today. And we can even see how funny the shape of the plasticine changes. <laughs> you can make me a new hairstyle from it as well. I'm like Rapunzel, huh? Oh, could you lend me a couple of your beautiful strands for the craft? Uh, so it's not my destiny to change my image today. You can have it. Um, Sammy. <laughs> well, okay. Come on, Sammy. I don't need much. Just a few to make the loops so that the seat of our swing can be holding tight. Like this. Is that what you call I don't need much? Everyone will laugh at me like that. <laughs> they will have no time to laugh because they will swing. The final touch. And we're done. Aw, what a beautiful swing. I like it. So fun. Uh, Susie, there's only one swing and so many dolls, if you know what I mean. Don't worry, Sammy. I always know what you mean. No playground can do without a proper seesaw. Whoosh. All right. Huh. Looks like you're making a solid base for it now. That's right, Sammy. One more piece and it's done. The next step is even easier. We'll make the central part of the seesaw and attach a couple of seats and handrails to it. All that's left to do is to put it all together. Come on, Sue, do it. I can barely hold it. Ugh. Okay, okay, got it. Well, now everyone can have some fun. Wow, that's, that's lovely. lovely. Let's try it. Woohoo! All right, I'll be on this one. I'm going to be on this one. <laughs> Woo! Spin, spin, we, we want to spin. Ah, Sammy, help me out. Sue to the rescue. <laughs> I also loved carousels when I was little. Oh, I wish I could ride them right now. This is so breathtaking. Yeah, the main thing is not to get dizzy. Whoa, whoa. Well, our carousel won't be spinning too fast, but it will defo be very bright. So now I need some kind of central piece. Here you are. Oh, <laughs> no, I need an axle. Can you help me with this? Oh, of course. Well, when did I let you down? Uh, this is coming here, now this one. Here you go. That's just what I need. Oh, my fattest you. You could have just said that. Why, thank you. We're gonna take a small piece, which needs to be fixed on this side with plasticine. Hooray! <laughs> we can spin! Not so fast! The craft isn't finished yet! Don't be in a hurry! There you go. Sit here for a while and make us something beautiful. <laughs> well, well, yeah. Keeping in mind the speed of the wind and the force of the rotation. What are you doing? Huh? I'm here to help you! Because you're working so slowly, too impossible! 
What are you talking about? And what is this? Where is your help? Give me back my notebook. <gasps> now I see. Well, thanks, Sammy. All I need to do now is put it all together. Let's check. Yeah, everything works great. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Carousel! Oh, <laughs> it's a mini Sam. No, no! There can only be one me in the world! He does look like me, though. So, our playground is growing little by little. But we need a slide. Oh, I remember the slides in TV Daba. First, you go up for like half an hour. And then, wah! You're flying down at the speed of light. Uh, and you land right into the pool. Awesome. Seriously? In Tibi Daba, are the pools right on the playgrounds? Well, yeah. Pools with plastic balls. There are plenty of them. Boop, boop, boop. We want a pool with balls, too. Uh, who pulled my tongue? Come on, Sammy. That is such a great idea. Let's make a little bend. That should be enough. Slides ready. And we'll make a pool with balls on the count of three. I'm counting. One, two. <gasps> Shiver me, cheddars. On the count of three, indeed. Ha <laughs> ha. Did you doubt me, my slime friend? <laughs> Apparently, we're going to need a lot of balls here. That's it, that's it, guys. Easy. Put everything here. It's so fun. Wow. I and like so it. Many beautiful <laughs> balls. <laughs> Just don't push each other, do you hear me? Slide down and turn. Susan. Huh. Now they're taking my stuff. Sammy, don't be greedy. They will play with your skateboard and then give it back. What if they break it? Holy cannoli! Now you see? Oh, that slime artist. <laughs> it's good that I foresaw something like this and decided to make a skateboard. Phew! Took it back with a fight. Oh, this is so beautiful. What is it, Sue? You don't have a clue, oh quick-witted slime. Well, what if I do? This? Is it clearer now? <gasps> it's a skateboard. It's awesome, isn't it, guys? Then give us a thumbs up. Let's tighten the wheels a little so that they hold on better. And we're done. Ha -ha, let me try it. What? You again? What? <laughs> way? <laughs> oh, all this running around gave me one more idea. To make our playground even more beneficial for the dolls. Let's put a basketball hoop on it. It's fun and trains the muscles. Did I hear that right? Did you say basketball? I just love shooting hoops. Are you now? <laughs> Honestly, guys, this is the first time I've heard of this. Are you serious? I am widely known in narrow circles by the nickname Flying Sam. Can you prove it after filming this episode? Well, I uh, haven't trained for a long time. I'll go now. That's just what I thought. <laughs> Hup, and the net is ready. We'll attach it to the shield. Oh, do you hear that? Looks like Sam's already shooting hoops. Uh, whoa! Ugh, never made shatters. Uh-huh. Seems like our flying Sam did not fly up, but down. Oh, Sue, I don't think my skills are up to par. Then maybe it's time to start training them? Well, of course. Where's my dream team? <laughs> Let's not interfere with their workout, guys. Besides, I have some plasticine left. So let's make something fun. Uh, not that. Uh, probably not this either. Now we're talking. Sue, I'm thinking that the spring would help me jump higher. What do you say? You literally read my mind. If we glue one end of it to the base and the other one to our giraffe, we get another great rocker. Oh, how cute is this? Forget about jumping. I want to swing on it. But Sue, there are no bushes or trees on our playground. I'll be right back. What? Where did he go? Here! This bucket and a shovel will create a real miracle. Well, let's see. Hey, you forgot the bucket. Oh, thanks. Let's dig some holes here and there first. And now let's add the magic seeds from the bucket, like this. Well, we can't do without life-giving moisture. Let's water our garden properly, like this. And a little bit here. Uh -huh. There you go. You see? I told you! It's magic in its purest form! Guys, do you agree with me? What are you saying? You didn't see everything properly? So, we'll fix it.
Yay! <laughs> this is so much fun! I have to try all the entertainment! <laughs> Woo! Ah! Seems like something went wrong. Sue, I had a strange dream that I was playing basketball and suddenly I was in the hoop myself! Hmm, interesting. And if I do this, do you feel something? Oh, 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 what's wrong with me? Why am I spinning? Oh. <laughs> Looks like it's all about this mini Sam. Wow. Oh, my feta. See you guys soon. Give us your thumbs ups. Bye bye. Say hands up. Say ho ho. You're on fire. Sammy. Sammy? Seems like making Ken a DJ was a bad idea. What? Why? The monsters are not into this kind of music. Look, they're almost all gone. We have to save the party. Any ideas, Susie? We need a new DJ, and they should look monstrous. Here I am to save your lame party, DJ Music Slime. Hey, that's not fair. That wire frame is too heavy. Yep, cause this frame belongs to DJ Music Man, the biggest animatronic in Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex. Yep, he definitely dozens of pizzas to grow up to be that big. Check out these spidey legs from Wire. Do they look intimidating? It could be only if they had some plasticine skin. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> This piece of plasticine is uh, quite firm. Guys, you may need help at this stage. Don't worry, Susan. You have a super slime to save you. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, buddy. I've got it from here. Huh? It looks just like what we need. I have hidden talents too. Don't underestimate me. Guys, did you see that? Give a thumbs up for Super Sue. Oh, come on. The best part is on its way. Here, let's attach our plasticine pieces to the wire frame. I'll help with the other half. Take it! Hey, don't touch Susie, you spidey legs. Maybe our DJ wanted to show us his new music mix. Anyway, let's smooth down the seams to keep him from crumbling. We'll have a DJ battle when he's all done. Keep going! Guys, you're the first ones to discover that an alien object landed right in our house! It's a gigantic insect alien from another galaxy that came to capture the whole... Susie, what are you doing? I was in the middle of shooting! And now you're in the middle of coloring. Chop, chop. Ugh, guys, I was captured by my best friend. Who knew? Stop complaining and check out my newest bouncy beat. Bam. Holy cannoli! Are these some small headphones? No way. These are the joints for DJ Music Man's legs. I was just kidding, Susie. So, can he move and dance to the beat too? Sure, cause these are the dancing beats. Come on guys, this way. What are you listening to? Is it good? Wow, so loud. <laughs> can you hear me clearly now? Yeah, the song is wow. It gave me enough energy to finish the joint. <laughs> Voila. Well, then the next stage is on me. Let's shape his legs. Slime Sam is here to help. <laughs> well, aren't I great? Just the right size. Thanks, Sam. All we need to do now is attach these pieces to the frame. There you go. Carefully. Great. Okay, I got it. Yep, we can do that. Sure. Susie? The monster said that we should hurry up or they'll get bored. 
Guys, you should never bore a monster. So let's speed up. <laughs> Susan! They're stalking us. Can you work a bit faster? I'm already done. Besides, those monsters can't do anything to us. Because technically, DJ Music Man's arms are in our hands. <laughs> Susie, stop telling your dad's jokes and help me with the craft already. All right. Don't be so grumpy. It looks like those monsters are getting into your head, Sammy. At least try to resist. I can't! They make really good music and I want my party back. Then we have no other option but to make a new DJ. Oh. But you should know that he works only night shifts. I hope this isn't a problem. It slaps! I can stay awake all night long. <laughs> Let me just take care of this. Yeah, high five, buddy! Throw your hands up in the air! Woohoo! Hey, the weather forecast isn't reliable at all these days. DJ, throw an energetic bead on. We're at the coloring stage here. <laughs> I'll be your DJ for a day. Let's turn on my favorite playlist. Hup. Rock and roll. Hey, Huggy, Fonzie, come back! I saw you like my music, come on! Guys, did you like it too? Then give us a thumbs up! DJ Music Man has his own speaker on his back. Hello? Susie, it's already broken. Shh, wait, it's just not ready yet. And we need the switch buttons, too. That task is for me! Give me a moment. This speaker can produce a thick, loud bass sound. Can't wait to hear that. But first, we'll paint it thoroughly. And one last finishing touch. Perfect. Susie, I'm genius! The buttons work perfectly. Try on me. Okay, DJ Sam, turn the music on. See, it works. <laughs> la 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 la. Hey, I'm an artist. That's how I see things. Oh, come on. Well, I see those buttons being more colorful. Make way. Now that's better. You can find any music style in here. I have some decor pieces to spare. Come here, big guy. Stay still. Now we'll add some decor to your belly and back. Uh, can he roll on his side? It's impossible to reach his belly this way. Roll, DJ! Wow, he's a very obedient spider. Yeah, wait till he gets his hands back. Shiver me! Guys, did you see that? I said so! Sammy, are his white gloves ready? Yep, they dried out pretty fast. Why does DJ wear gloves anyway? I can only guess. First of all, for all of the handshakes and high fives. Okay, these will do. Ha, what's next? I'm really curious. Hmm, let's see. Oh, to dance on the dance floor for sure. Ha, <laughs> that sounds so cool. Tell me more, tell me more. It'll be the last and most obvious guess, Sammy. To capture little pink slimes! <laughs> ah, help me, I'm so scared! Hey, that was so much fun. Why did you stop? Check this out for yourself. He can't chase you properly without his head. Say no more. We've already got everything done. Nice plasticine piece. But the shape is wrong. You're so impatient. Just like me, Susie. I'm coming already. Oh, that's much better. Let's wrap it around the base. Let's see what we have here. Oh, so much work for me. I love it. Just a few scratches and a mouse will be ready. 
Can you give me uh, some space or two? I want to draw. What are you talking about? There's enough room for both of us. Huh. All done. Okay, we make a great team. Who would have thought? Wait and see. It's a real job for a slime dentist. No, let me take this. You know, we may need a piano tuner here instead. His teeth are made like piano keys. Susie, you can play it well. Do it, do it quick! Okay, you got me. Guys, watch closely. Wow, that was one of my best tries. I hope DJ Music Man loved it too. Yeah, even his eyes popped out. <laughs> we should bring them back. Give me a second. Holy cannoli, he'll look a bit crazy. See? He may be terrified about losing his nose. Here it is. No, that's not the case. <gasps> oh, we forgot about his stage makeup. Montgomery, Gator, Freddy, it's your turn. Quick, quick. Finally, he looks kind of pleased. Maybe we'll have a party soon. You want to listen to that too? Let's share. Sammy, I suppose he wants his accessories back. Oh, you could have just asked. Here you go. And the finishing touch. DJ can't work without his ear monitors. So I can finally call for my monster friends? Sure, suit yourself. DJ Music Man is ready to rock the dance floor. Hooray! Guys, the party is starting now. Woohoo! Turn it up, DJ! Sammy, let's dance! Uh, hey, guys! This party's monsters only! Come back some other time! Ah! She stepped on my... Ah! Oh, you! Uh. Sammy, stop sulking and let's have fun all together! You're right! I can be myself again! Check this out! DJ's loosened up, too! He's bouncing! <laughs> guys, give us a thumbs up! And don't forget to... Ah! Guys, he meant don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye. <laughs> hmm, well, well, well. Yahoo! Oh, my feta, Sammy, you jumped out like a jack-in-the-box. <laughs> Susie, I just figured out a new kind of art. An unbelievable pop-out 3D art. And what's the point? A drawing is so voluminous that it pops out of the frame! That's a great idea, but it should be adjusted a little bit. So we don't tear the paper every time. Let's go! I'll show you everything! Hi, guys! Today we're gonna make a really unusual craft! It's one of a kind! Hey! It's gonna be a drawing and a sculpture at the same time! You said sculpture? Hmm. I know what to do! Hey guys, move on! We just need to… Shoo, shoo, Sammy, why did you put all these stones here? Susie, all the great masters always use marble for sculpting. <laughs> ah, I see. But you're mistaken. There are so many materials that can be used nowadays. Can you name at least one, huh? Air plasticine, for example. Just look at all of these colors, guys. What are you waiting for? Choose the color already! Let me think. Uh-huh. Yeah, let this be the one. I like this color so much. Should I turn on the oven to bake the finished crafts? Huh? No, Sammy, you're messing it all up. We've already made some crafts with air plasticine. Don't you remember? Air plasticine is quite convenient to work with. It's bright, moldable, and it quickly dries hard without baking. 
Only your imagination is the limit here, guys! That's right! Don't forget to make a funny face! And the first little cutie is ready! Do you like it, guys? And I've made a flower! Guys, if you like them, give us a thumbs up! Thanks, Sammy! It's time to put them in their places! Eh? Uh, what do you mean? We don't want these to escape, so let's glue them to the canvas! Guys, you can start at any spot! Just get creative! And the second one! Done! Sue, open your palm! I want to try something! Okay, what does he come up with this time? <gasps> it's magical seeds! Put them on the frame and you'll see what will happen! Okay, and what is so magical? Wow, Sammy, it's awesome! Where did you get those seeds? A real magician doesn't reveal his secret, Susan! Okay, okay, mister, but I know some tricks, too! It's a sleight of hand and nothing more! Well, what do you say, Sammy? Hmm, not bad, not bad. Almost as good as mine. But you know what else I can do? <laughs> Take it easy, Sammy. I know how fast you get carried away. Guys, if you want to see what's next, then stay tuned! We'll be back in a moment! Well, well, well. Every block of plasticine has a cute little character inside it. And it is the task for the sculptor to discover it! <laughs> um, uh-huh. And like this. Ta-da! Check out my masterpiece! Wow, you did great, but… Haven't you changed a quote from Michelangelo a bit? Great minds think alike, Susie! Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Great Slime Sculptor. Do you mind if I put another masterpiece here? <laughs> Guys, would you look at this? We're getting a whole company here! <laughs> Let's make some more little friends! First of all, knead your piece of plasticine until it's soft and smooth. Then you can make any shape you want! Easy, isn't it? After that, we will have a party with all of our new cute friends! You know Sammy, guys! He likes to party so much! <laughs> um, working with plasticine feels like meditation. Ah! Susie, I think I'm sick! Just look at me! It's heart fever! Good macaroon, Sammy! How did it happen? No, Zoo, don't touch me! What if it's contagious? Quick, Sammy, jump on the canvas! Ah, look out! Phew! Sue, thanks for your help! I got so scared! That's what friends are for! We always watch each other's back! Sue, let me do that, please! And a line here, and a couple of dots there… It's alive! It's alive! It's a lion! And he wants to hang out with his friends! <laughs> Hello, everyone! Sue, I've made another character! Such a cutie! Is it a bear, Sammy? This is the perfect spot for him! Sue, I guess we should make something from this color as well! What a cool idea! You're my great helper, Sammy! After all, the more colors, the better! The whole picture will look like a rainbow! I like it so much, do you guys? If yes, then give us a thumbs up! This way we will understand you want to see more rainbow crafts on our channel! Oh, Sammy, could you please glue this one to the canvas while I'm making the other one? No need to ask, Susie! One foot here and one foot there! How nice of you! I know that's because you like rainbows so much! Who doesn't like it, Susie? I bet even Roger does! I think he's more into robots, blasters, and electric cars! Trust me, Sue! There's a lot you don't know about him! Well, this is getting interesting! Guys, don't go anywhere! I think I need to talk to Sammy in private! I did so many things today and now I'm exhausted! I could use a break! How about having some snacks? Yes! It will help! <gasps> Who's there? Hmm… Nobody. Suspicious. But okay. Stop hiding! Show me your face! Mommy… What? I don't remember having children! Sue! Help me! How can I help you, Sammy? You're the mommy after all four… One, two, three little cuties! It seems they're waiting for your mom's word! Okay, as your mommy, I'll tell you! To the canvas! Whee! Mommy Sammy! You did great! But, jokes aside, we need to get back to work! Just look at these cheeks! So cute! What about mine? They're cute too, right? <laughs> it's like you're embarrassed, Sammy! There is nothing in the world! 
world that can make me feel embarrassed. Really? So tell me the real reason then. You don't get it! I'm tired! It's so hard to be a mommy of four! You're lucky, because all of your children are old enough to leave apart. <laughs> In the meantime, guys, we're at the finish line. A few more characters and the craft is ready. I can't wait to see the results! What about you guys? If you like this craft so far, give us a thumbs up! And this little one will smile at you! <laughs> hmm, this is a good angle! I should try it! Sammy, it's not time to play with your phone! <laughs> you don't get it! It's crucial to be active in social media these days! Let me remind you of an old proverb, Sammy. Work now, fun later. Fun now, chill later! I like this version much more! <laughs> but who will make cool crafts for the guys? Like you don't know the answer, Sue. <laughs> <sighs> what would you do without me? Hey guys, it's me, the creator of a new kind of art! Unbelievable pop out 3D art! As you can see, I almost finished my only work! Somebody should work, Sammy, while you're surfing the internet! Let's add the last touches! Well, what do you say, Sammy? How do you like our 3D painting? Sue, don't you see? There's an empty spot right there! Oh no! But I have an idea! And I already did everything! Here, it'll fit perfectly! Wow, Sammy, you're right! But there are still some flowers left! What should we do about them? That's not a problem! We can use them all! And each flower needs some green leaves, right? Okay, guys! Are you ready to check out our craft together? Did you make it all by yourself? What kind of a question is that? Ah, uh, I see! It's you, Susan! I'm gonna start giving out the autographs! My pin is ready! <laughs> Come closer one by one, guys! Don't crowd! And if you liked our craft today, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel! Don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss our next video! Bye-bye! See you soon, people! Three nights in a row? This is impossible. Ugh, how much longer? Ah, we should stop tolerating that. Susie, I'll sort it out. Ah. Huh? He really did that? Hail Tibidaba! Now I can finally go back to sleep. Oh, what a relief. No, not again! Susie, I worked it out! Are you sure? Then why is the music still on? We agreed on a music contest. Like a rock battle, you know. With all the cool clothes and guitars and all that! We'll create a rock and if our guys will play better than that playlist of our neighbors, then they'll stop turning it on at all! Awesome! Oh, Sammy… Hey, what's the matter, Susie? Ouch! Next time, we won't let the neighbors sleep! Shiver me, Cheddars, where are they? They should have arrived already! 
Hi, guys. Are you ready to meet the new member of our future rock band? What? He's not with you? Nope. Our friendly neighbor prefers climbing walls. Ah, oh, here he is. Hmm, he looks pretty worn out. Will he be able to take another huge transformation? Sure, check this out. Spider-Man is eager to demonstrate his abilities. Guys, you devo haven't expected that. A famous superhero is about to turn into... A glam rock villain superstar! Arr! That's a shocking plot twist. We already have glam rock Freddy here. Who do you think will be part of his glam rock duet, guys? He has very prominent feet. Interesting. Sam certainly knows something. Guys, try to crack him up. Who, me? I don't know what you're talking about. Shower him in your thumbs ups. He won't resist. All right, you got me. We're making Montgomery Gator. Yay, his feet are already done. And look, they're amazing. Let's do more plasticine works. We'll need a mat. Let's knead the plasticine this way to make it more flexible. First, we'll just layer up sculpting clay on the figure, starting from his feet and moving up to his calves and higher. Thanks, Sam. Perfect timing. Here we go. This way. Holy cannoli! He started growing new arms! Maybe I could transform into a reptile, too! <laughs> Are you sure you really want to do that? Come on, Susan! I was daydreaming! Oh, Sammy, one reptile in our house is enough. Can I be a sculptor, at least? It's my second dream in a row! That would be great! Suit yourself! I'm almost done! How's it going, Sammy? Awesome! By the way, you can check it for yourself! Wow, it makes him look more like an animatronic character! Now I'll take care of a few smaller details. Great, but where is his head? He lost it out of excitement. <laughs> Honestly, even the most skillful sculptor can't make an alligator head out of the Spider-Man's one. So we can do it. Oops. <laughs> Guys, we have a new challenge then. But first, let's color the body. Montgomery Gator primary colors are green and purple. Prepare your painting supplies! Let's color him up! I'm gonna show you one little trick. You have to train your vocals more. What was that weak roar last time? Huh? What is it? Ahem, <laughs> Mr. Manager, can I borrow this decor piece from you? And I'll be right back. I'm gonna give Freddy some music lessons. Guys, let's learn some glam rock fashion rules. Scaly pants work well with a yellow top. <laughs> and that's how it's done! Sammy, what about crafting? I'll elaborate on it in a moment! Finally! You start looking like a rock star! Check out this belt! Sue, turn him around! And a reptile tail popped out! Whoa! Do you have lizard relatives? By the way, alligators are also able to grow their tails back. So, Montgomery Gator also has this ability. It's not surprising. I need to update my knowledge treasury. Wikipedia, help me! Black oval pieces help us make a bending shape of the tail. Why so long? Maybe Montgomery needs some nutrients to grow faster? 
I guess he needs a head to eat anything after all. I have another idea. Maybe we should make a musical instrument for him to do that. I hope that you're making a guitar. Yes, Sammy. Montgomery Gator animatronic always brings his electric guitar with him. So he should play some metal music. His guitar has a metal core in it, right? I hope that he and Glamrock Freddy won't have any arguments about that. Here is the body and the neck of the guitar. Oh, and a headstock. So, shall we play something? Susie, are you kidding me? We can't play anything rockish on that. Let's fix it. First, we'll add some shine. Glamrock is a dazzling and striking style. Add some black, too. We have real predators in our rock band, so we need something dark. Something like this. Is this dark enough for you? Hmm? Holy cannoli! I feel the rock spirit flowing in my oozy veins! Add more, Susie! Guys, do you want to play this guitar? Then you need a bridge and pickups. Don't forget about volume knobs and strings! I've been keeping them for ages! You don't need them anymore. Here, let me tighten them up. There we go. Hup! Our guitar will have just four strings, guys! Oh, I can't believe that our guitar is ready! Say rock! Shiver me, Cheddars! Susie, you need some practice! Sorry, I haven't learned to play only with my two fingers! <laughs> I hope that Montgomery will make it right, but let's postpone his performance for later. Now he finally has enough spirit to grow his tail! You're right, Sammy! It is growing! <laughs> Guys, do you need a slime artist to diversify your band? Hey, you could have just said no. Sammy, come on! Montgomery Gator is having his first solo concert! By the Mozzarella! Keep a seat for me! Mr. Montgomery, hi! Can we take a selfie? <gasps> ah! A head! We forgot about his head! He played the whole song without it! Guys, you should give our Montgomery Gator a thumbs up! Great! Are you ready to finish the craft and meet him in person? Stay tuned! Hmm, let's see. This shape looks quite familiar. Ah! Is it from Jurassic Park? <laughs> Sammy, we should still make Montgomery's head, remember? I just wanted to stir my inspiration. <laughs> oh, so that is what you could call it? Ugh. Actually, you could have helped me with the head shape, Sammy. I'm here now! How can a crafty slime help you, miss? You're on time! We need to smooth the insides of the eye sockets. Eye surgery? What else will I learn through making crafts? Painting, for instance. <laughs> now let's make a split. Cool! As we're making an animatronic, we should create mechanic sockets for his eyeballs. Ew, gross! But very interesting. <laughs> let's place mechanic eyeballs inside and draw the irises right after that. Montgomery, can you see us? You're making it all wrong, Susie! Here, let me show you! <laughs> now I don't see anything as he's gone. Sammy, come back! And bring my head back! I'm here, no whining! Check this out! Much better, huh? Yup, I think the real Montgomery would be very pleased and show us his wide toothy smile. Then we have to provide him with an urgent dental plastic surgery! Hurry up! Sammy, I already did everything. Say, ah! Uh, wow, it's a pretty wide ah! Uh. <laughs> Susie, it's all great, but a glam rock star needs some makeup on too! Plus a cool hairdo! Let's hurry up and get it done! His makeup and hairdo are ready! The concert is coming! Let's attach the head to the body. Ugh! Ah! 
Ugh, so hard to be a group manager. One more thing. Uh-huh. The claws are ready, too! His outfit should be really outstanding. Let's add some more striking details. Star eyeglasses for a glam rock superstar! Just one final touch and he's ready! We have another candidate for being a stage king here! Get ready for some glam rock, guys! Welcome to our very first awesome rock concert! Are you ready to hear the biggest hit ever? Oh yeah! It was a blast! Our guys were the best! No more sleepless nights. Who knew that our glam rock band would help with that? Susie, I think you'll have just one more sleepless night today. Our neighbors invited us all to have a rock concert at their house. Will it ever end? <laughs> Guys, thank you for being with us today. Give us a thumbs up if you liked this video. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>